What's going on, guys? Today we're looking at a black green summoning, heartless summoning deck. We got this job in here. Creature spells you cast cost two less to cast. Creatures get negative one, negative one. So you can play this guy for two mana, but he's a one one. This guy costs four, but he's a five five. Um, this was submitted by Tuffy Head, as you can see. And um, basically, you kind of just want to get the uh, the heartless summonings down. Or you can go turn two Cold Steel Heart into Solemn Simulacrum on turn three, which should help you cast this guy on turn. Four. So you got this on three, and then you're gonna get a. F so so I guess you get six drop on turn four, right? That seems good, which is why we have this abundance of six drops. What's that another four drop? Four drop. Yeah. Gore Claw. Also, kind of like a. Uh, uh, it's like a. Another Heartless Summoning, where your creatures of power 4 or greater cost 2 less. Okay. So we have these guys, 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 all these guys. Um, is this a stream where Mike gets waxed? No. No, Rosie O'Donnell. This is not This is not the wax stream. Um, so one interesting inclusion is Obnixilus Unshackled. It is a 4-4 four, four Flying Trampler for 6. Whenever an opponent searches their library, that player sacrifices a creature and loses 10 life, which is pretty insane. It's pretty good against fetch lands. Whenever another creature dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Obnixilus. So, we'll see if that's any good. Uh, Vorinclex, also just a big fat commander idiot. 7-6 <clears throat> Trampler for 8. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one more. Whenever an opponent taps a land, doesn't untap. And then you got a Galta. It's pretty good. Oh, also, this is one shoulder and two rune scar demons, not three shouldreds, just to be clear. And uh, one thing I'm going to change off the bat is putting putting Golgari Signet instead of Cold Steel Heart. Um, reason being, like, we have a lot of double blacks and double greens. So if you choose a green and then don't get a second black, the odds are low because it's a two-color deck. But it could happen if you draw, like, three forests and a Cold Steel Heart or something. I don't think that would ever work. Um, but the point is, you can actually tap uh, Golgari Signet the turn it comes into play. Yeah, that just seems way better. So if you have three mana, you can go uh, play a Signet, also keep Abrupt Decay, or play a second Signet, or keep a Dismember up. Whereas, like, if you have three mana and you play a Cold Steel Heart, you can't play Abrupt Decay. You can still play Dismember, but you can't play a second Cold Steel Heart, so... Uh, I just feel like Signet's a little better positioned here. Unless there's something I'm missing, but I don't think so. There's no, uh, there's no Snow Permanent. Is this a Snow Artifact? That's not how you spell that at all. Okay, well, I don't know what just happened there. Cards. That's good. Yeah, it's a snow artifact. That's weird. Do, do, do. Uh, what are we getting with Titan? Lands. Titan gets lands out of the deck. Uh, whenever whenever it attacks, you can search your library for lands. So you put two into play. Um, so you get you get this is all our lands. So you'd get two of these and put them into play. Is there any special lands? Not really. I mean, I could see adding like uh, a his just like a hissing quagmire just to have one in there. But, um, I mean, really, you're just, you just want to play this so that you're not relying on Heartless Summoning. You can cast all your big idiots, so. Yeah, all right. I'm going to give this, give this bad boy a shot, and we're going to see what happens. And I'm excited about it. Hey, are there any special lands? That's rude. That you don't, all lands are special lands, Michael. Old Hissy Q. <laughs> That was uh, far funnier than I expected it to be. All right, I will play first. You know why? Because suck on them eggs. You know what? I'm going to keep this. It's a, it's a gamble. But you know what they say? No gamble, no future. That's exactly what they say. That's exactly it. So you might say, nailed it. What's an awful Lawrence? I'm trying to think if that's, like, somehow I'm going to get got with that. Like, if I said, this deck is Ligma, then you'd be like, what is the, what is, what's Ligma? And then you'd be like, well, it's a bad layer. Oh, it's an awful Lawrence. That's actually fantastic. <laughs> All right. So I understand now. Terrarian and Mox Opal, huh? All right. I don't think I don't think hissing quagmire comes up that we need a quagmire gif. Can we crack this? Oh, that's good. Put the library under this under the stack. 
Put your library under the stack. Give me a Golgari signet. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Thank you all around. Golgari signets all around. What's his one artifact there that's not Mox? Terrarian. So they're probably playing. Yeah, sorry, I'm playing an obnoxious deck, clearly. <sighs> they're just playing Quack Clan Ironworts, so here we go. Toad Man, how dare you? Oh, they're definitely playing that. Toad Man? That's oh, well, we missed the land drop, so. <sighs> I'll try to be fast. Well, you might have picked the wrong deck for that. Hate to break it to you, but... So, we'll just sit here. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll probably just concede. How are we doing so far? Uh, we are. This is game one in round one, and we are playing against Lantern. Good times. I'll try to be fast. Big fan. Big fan, though. Like, yeah, that's a good question. Like, if you feel like your deck is... If you have to come into every match and say, like, I'm playing an obnoxious deck, like, why do it? That's what I don't understand. What is this sit symbol? Obviously, it's a masterpiece, but it's just like a column. I guess we can talk about our own cards. So we got this guy. And we got these guys. These are our. These are the four drops. We couldn't cast it because we didn't hit the third land, though. Do 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 do. This is your. That was it. I, don't, I can't tell if they're probably big plays. Bobby Big Blaze. <laughs> oh wow, that was exciting. All right, well I didn't hit a land, so I'll just let you let you go. Let's try again. Why are you, why are you incorrectly playing Gore Claw in a non Barry D H deck? That's true. So salty, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hey, Frank, Mike, and Mike didn't make it for a long time to stream, but still supporting Rose from Germany. Thanks so much, man. I hope, you, hope you've had more burritos since last time. Speaking of burritos, we getting burritos later? No, I ain't getting no burrito. What about taco? Maybe. All right. It ain't burrito Tuesday. It ain't burrito Tuesday. But it can be if you go to Taco Bus. Oh yeah, you're right. I probably would get burritos there. Yeah, it does have to be worded passively, right? Like, you, it's not. It, they don't. They don't actually speak to me. Like, it's like if Mike was. What's Mike drinking water with ice? I'd be like, I wouldn't be like, why are you? Why are you incorrectly drinking water with ice in it? I'd be like. Why do people incorrectly drink water with ice in it? Like it's condes it's almost like a sec a next level of condescending where you're like, I'm not talking to you. But I am talking about you. Please ban Crack Clan Ironworks. And again, this is not this is not a situation where I really think the deck is that broken. I really just think the it, it facilitates an environment similar to Sensei's Divining Top, where you just don't have a good time playing against it. I think in real life, it's way faster. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, but you're still just like sitting here. Can't they just loop and moment floats on the board? I mean, I think so. Looks pretty winnable to me. Maybe they're just not doing it right. <sighs> What's up, Bjorn? What's going on, buddy? Oh, they figured it out. There we go. We did it, boys. La da 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 Hunters under the desk. How you guys doing? Did you guys have a good Monday? How about a good Tuesday? Is Tuesday treating you okay? Boy. Is it Friday yet? <laughs> oh, boy. It was Friday yesterday for me. Boy, every day is Friday. That's not true. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Cool... Mm. I guess we died. Take out the dismembers. Take out gear hulks. Bring in pulses. Anything that removes graveyards is good too. You're a graveyard. Hmm. <laughs> I'm real close to singing that Frank Sinatra jam. Fly me to my deck, let me play. No, that's not. Let me play amongst my. Um, I, I, I missed the. I don't know how the the thing would go if it's not the actual song. Um, I don't think this hand is very good. Yeah, this one's probably better. I will keep this hand. I will bottom you. In other words, please be true. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't even know Mr. Pulse had an invocation. Well, it does. Okay? <laughs> Typical Mike. Such Mikes. Wow. I'm going to crack this encounter in response. I also read that in Professor Farnsworth's voice. Which one? When anyone ever says good news, everyone. Good news, everyone! Oh, that's interesting. I don't think it does anything for us right now. Nope. But might as well cast it. I'm tempted to kill this Mox Opal or this Engineered Explosives. I love watching my favorite trainer watch somebody else play Magic. Good times, good times. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this. Number spots, I'll put one great matter. Okay. 
My turn. I won't use my good mana. <laughs> oh, you didn't use it. Fantastic. Good thing. Glad never, you added that to your pool. They never do. I like that you're playing like Crack Clan Ironworks, and you're still choosing to make all the decisions that would make the game take even longer. Uh, in response, out of green. Okay, what are you going to do with your green? Absolutely nothing. Oh, well, that's fascinating. Why would you do that? I don't know. All right, well, we're having a good time. At least this time he can draw. Oh, no, he can't. No, he can't. He'll probably add a... He'll add a oh, they didn't add a color, though. That's good. Good to know. Good to know. There you go. Oh, I'm not going to kill that, believe it or not. Is that the Hungry Howie? <laughs> yeah, this is Hungry Howie. We uh we got we got to hold a call. Oh, they actually called me, and you need to call them and uh and talk about the problem. Talk about your problems. Oh, the the undone crust. Yeah. They left you a message. Yeah. And the dude was like, "Hey, man, I'm really sorry. I want to just resolve this and and take care of it." And I was like, "All right, cool. Let's do that." I didn't say that because they left a message, and I can't respond to messages on. Yep, here we go. <sighs> what should we request? I don't know. A refund at the, you know, at the least. Uh, I don't think it was my media post. I think it was actually the two complaints that I sent to the website. <sighs> well, we took up a total of three minutes of this game. They have taken ten. And we've played five lands in total. Maybe six? No, five. It was five in a Golgari Signet. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Pint House Pizza, huh? I will trust you. Well, our opponent had Aetherworks uh, Reservoir the first game, so I don't think they're reservoiring us. This does not seem like fun in the two-man queues. If you're playing an event to, like, win the event and you're like, I want to play the best modern deck possible, that's one thing. But, like... Like, just play this in the solitaire room, right? <laughs> like, just, you can literally just play this in the... You can make a solitaire game and just play this by yourself. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think I mind as much as it just makes me feel super awkward to be streaming while this is going on because I'm just like sitting here. Hey guys, remember that time you wanted to watch some magic? Well, hopefully I can show you some. I mean, at least if you're playing a deck like Burn or something, like I'm just dead in a minute. Around the time we we're going to the same Wawa before an event. Good. Oh man, that was cr that's so crazy, dude. What a small world. Now this is what I call fun. I should have just started the stream at three thirty, and then we could have been like, "Hey guys, welcome to the first round at three thirty."
instead I tortured you and I'm like, hey, I'll start at 3 o'clock and you guys can watch 20 minutes of nothing. Do a little... Yep, here we go. Oh god, you really are you really gonna gain thirty life after this? After all this? Oh my god. Or twenty life, I guess. Unless you're at twenty and you just gain thirteen, which I guess this shouldn't take too long if that's the case. I don't know how many spells you played to be honest. It's probably a lot. Let's see if you go to thirty-three, you gain thirteen, so you gain fourteen. You go to forty-seven. Let's see if the next spell puts you to forty-seven. Yeah, we can concede. I just, I, I mean, like, at this point, I just, we're just going to play it out. Maybe. I have no idea. Oh, boy. Why even put that on two? <laughs> just cast it for zero. This is very strange. I wish I knew what was going on right now. Yeah, they're definitely not going to time with 12 minutes, but I mean... You know what? Who knows? It's 22 minutes, so I spent less than 3 minutes total in this game. They're going on close to 15. That's a ridiculous time disparity. Okay, so it was actually 13 spells. So now they're at... Yep, cool. Yep. I will be sure not to join the queue if you're in it this time. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> Sorry to offend. I didn't do I didn't think that I was doing anything wrong. Let's just sit here in the queue here. Make sure we don't uh just make sure that doesn't happen again. Like, I'd love to go to an event and be like, hey, uh, before we sit down, would you mind just, you know, hanging out with me and watching me play Magic for 15 minutes? How many people are going to say yes? I think no one, right? Mm-hmm. It's really weird if you're just in these queues to get practice, because then it's like, well, no, I guess, I mean, it's not, right? It's not. You're playing Magic. It's a, it's a legitimate deck, whatever, but... God, it just doesn't feel good. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Did you uh, uncover an ancient artifact? Yeah. Because only a bag like that holds ancient artifacts. Yeah, everybody knows that. This hand is great. Yeah, it looks real good. That's what she said. How nice of her. She's a very kind person. He says to a bunch of people watching him, that's true. That is that is fairly meta. The problem is the people watching me stream, uh, watching me play Magic, agreed to that. They, they came here exclusively to do that. Your opponent at Magic events likely did not choose that same, uh, that same thing. I wonder what what's the initial feeling when you see Heartless Summoning come down? Are you just like, oh no, Heartless Summoning? Or are you like, oh, that's weird, Heartless Summoning? It is a pretty, it's a pretty powerful card. Heartless Summoning is like two far seeks. Joke's on them. That was a good draw. So now we have Abrupt Decay and Dismember, whereas if we just had this... Or if this is a Cold Steel Heart, we would have... Uh, we know Abrupt Decay. Oh, boy. So we're just going to get Scape Shift out here, aren't we? Oh, actually... This seems pretty good against Scape Shift. I guess we'll find out. If they don't know what it does, they actually could just kill themselves. What up, ye Borg? I hope they don't read this. I really hope they just let it resolve. Is 
There's no way. That would be amazing. That would be mind blowing to me. Because whenever they search the library, they take ten. Yeah. Guess they figured it out. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that was uh that was unimpressive. How'd they kill it? Oh they bolted it. That is correct. Lightning bolt killed it. What is a four for? That is not how heartless summoning works. Oh right. Okay, Hunter. Hello. Hi. Alright, well. He's having a good time. Well, they only have two cards in hand, so I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, marsh and marsh. All right. Escape shift and kill us. Oh, here comes the shakies. Here comes the shakes again. Well, they didn't crack their wooded foothills. There's a Valakut. Valakut! And dead. Alright. Well, not dead. Oh, you're just going to tap all your mana first and then, then, then scape shift? No? Okay, sure. Good thing you got all that mana floating for when we die. I love Man, it. Man, modern is a healthy format. I love I love weird decisions like that. Like, I'm gonna add all my mana. Okay, well that's strange. It just, it just feels like feed the clan here. Uh, take out dismembers. Take out. Oh God, I want to take out abrupt decay, but. Yeah, I don't know why Valakut's not legendary either. It's literally a named land. It's very strange. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it should be legendary. I'll, stall. I'll keep that in mind when when I when I have a feeling towards a, a loss or a, a something that happens in a game. Uh, I'll keep in mind that I, that I that I should feel a certain way. Good to know. Um, God, I don't want the abrupt case. They're just not very good in this matchup. Same with dismember. I feel like we want we really want. Um, I don't think we care about cards like cast down. We have tons of removal. We really want. Um, we really want like thought seizes. Maybe even in the main deck. Uh, Nykthos is le no, Nykthos is legendary. Yeah. Yeah, thought seasons would probably be good. Uh, nope. Yeah, I guess. Like, it, the problem is, like, we're missing some explosiveness here. I don't know what it is, but, like, it's something. I feel like we don't have enough four drops to really take advantage. I think we actually just want, might want another Goreclaw in the deck. But then Goreclaw just dies to Lightning Bolt, which is pretty prominent in Modern. Oh, speak of the devil. Yeah, I'll keep that guy. Thank 
Callow Main with the sub. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Although Catlow Main is it's not the not the most pleasant names. What do you want in your low main? Let me get some cat. Alright. Oh, we cracked this. I'm so terrible. I was gonna keep the Gore Claw and I totally forgot to do that. Oh my god. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're having a good time. Or is it YouTube? Bum, bum, bum. It's gone. I took it off. That would have been a good one. Oh, dang. Yeah, we kept Gore Claw, but then we shuffled away with uh, Verdant Catacombs. I totally forgot. That's an interaction I actually uh, sometimes forget about in Modern, because it just doesn't come up a lot in Standard. You usually don't have a way to shuffle your library on turn one in standard, so. Alright, well, let's see if we're dead. Well, we're not going to be dead next turn, I guess, but. There's no way to break Magosis the Water Veil. Yeah, I, people would have figured it out by now. I think, I think you just got to let that dream go, buddy. I will choose myself. That's true. It's also tempted. Oh, they're actually they missed a land drop. It's actually tempted to. Uh, did they? Wait, hold on. Yeah, they missed a land drop. They guessed cast tireless tracker. We have actually a lot of options here. We could just play Noxious Gear Hulk and kill this guy. Well, we're going to attack first. Also, look how many demons we have. We have Bloodgift Demon, we have an Obnixilis. We could play Liliana's Demonic Petition Pact, whatever that card is called. Bl Liliana's Contract. Someone put it in the chat, so. Wow, that was. Huh. We're only on the same page, though. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, which one of these three do we play? I have no idea. I feel like Killy Kill is a good idea. Really? Yeah. I feel like this is pretty much Killy Kill. It makes them it makes it so they can't actually sacrifice a land, right? True. I'm gonna play this guy. If they happen to have a double lightning bolt. Yeah, so if they crack that, they take ten. That's pretty good. I'd one hundred percent play Ob. Well we did. We did it. So and I'm going to assume they don't have a double lightning bolt in hand because they seem pretty rare. <sighs> Mike, what's going on, buddy? Happy Hearthstone new set day. Oh. Oh. I will choose myself again. I will choose myself again. You got a bunch of packs to open? I do. I'm going to open it now. I chose myself. Draw a card. Alright, well, there we go. Come on, over here. Land it up. Alright, let's get in there with these guys. We actually could have put them to five. We're putting them to nine here. However, now that they've done that, we just gain more life due to our Noxious Gear Hulk, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this actually puts us to 19, which means they are one away from uh, scape shifting us. So. We also could play. Can you just pay this mana? We could play the Signet first, but I just don't think it's going to be relevant. There's a lot of things happening there. 
I didn't mm -hmm. get a chance to read Mechathune. Golden Whizbang seems pretty sweet. Whizbang is actually just a pretty cool card in general. This deck seems strong against any kind of tireless tracker deck. I agree with you. If land is tapped for two more mana, that's not going to happen. Each spell will be like, yeah, no, this is not just not relevant. Um. Yeah, I think this is just fine like it is. I don't think we're actually... I don't think anything is relevant here. What's Feed the Clam do? Gain, uh, feed the Clam. Uh, you gain 5. If you have Ferocious, you gain 10. So, I mean, it just could be relevant against Scape Shift. They're getting out of range. Yeah. yeah. I do not think you craft a Golden Whizbang. No, that is uh, that is a pretty ridiculous thing to do. Mike, I was totally going to tell you this is a Heartless Summoning, buddy. I was going to actually message you and be like, hey, I'm playing Heartless Summoning today. I definitely, I, it crossed my mind and I totally forgot to do it. That makes me a bad friend and I apologize. I guess we really aren't friends. Wow. This escalated quickly. All right, well, if we had a Eureka... Or uh, the the band one, Hypergenesis. Hypergenesis. This hand would be great, dude. But we do not, so it is not. <sighs> yes. Nice. Got there, as the kids say. I guess we'll just have to race. It's a race. Um, I'm just gonna play this first. All right, we still need one more land, though. You got it. Solemn will get us that land. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. No, we need one more on top of that though, because this makes primeval cost four. Solemn gets us a fifth land or a third land rather, and we still need one more. That's interesting. This lets us play Primeval Titan next turn. I think we just want to Solemn here, though. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's a thing. Yeah, also if they kill this guy, we get to draw a card, so we're one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. Everything you say to me. Takes me one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. Oh, a Bloodbraid Elf. Oh, you're going to Lightning Bolt my guy? Do it. Do it. They're probably just going face. It doesn't make sense. Either way, we'll just block if you don't. Yeah, they went face. Interesting. I was wondering if my hand on Hunter helps him out. I don't think it does. Oh, we did it. Nailed it. I'm just going to get a forest here. So we can actually play this and Titan, right? Yes, we can. Broken. Gasoline. Gasoline. I just hope you don't have scape shift in hand, I guess. Now, you'd actually have to have s seven lands. I think seven lands is the minimum. I do believe so. Well, you gotta have one more land. You can actually go uh, far seek scape shift. Spape shift. Spape shift. Vape ship. Vape ship? Yeah. Take a ride in my vape ship. I mean, either way. See, but at least if I lose this game now, I feel like we were doing cool stuff. I feel like we got to actually play the game, right? Um, it was frustrating against the Crackland Ironworks deck and against round one here. Uh, because it just didn't feel like we were doing anything. We just didn't get to play the game. We just got to sit here and watch our opponent kill us with a pretty efficient combo in modern. And... So you can crack four of these. Now you can crack three of them. Which puts us up to five, and then we trade. Or we go to ten. I think we just take three here and block this guy. And if you want to like spend your time cracking, that's totally fine. 
Yep. You spend it. your time cracking. <laughs> Get busy cracking. Got to do it one more time if you want to trade. There you go. There you go. There you go. This guy's going to get bolted, right? Oh, well, they already got a bolt in the graveyard. Ooh -wee. <sighs> Never gets easier. Yeah, that sucks. Because we could have played this for three and then played a feed the clan. Yep. Or one shy of playing heart with summoning children and feed the clan. Yep. I mean, because this just replaces itself, so... I mean, they have four cards. I think their odds of not having a scape shift in a land is pretty low. But. I mean, if we can survive this turn, I feel like our odds are good. We get to go to 30, but. Yep, here we go. Make sure to tap all those lands for the turn you kill us. All right. Fun times against Scape Shift. Yep, we're definitely bringing in Thoughtseize because there's no reason there shouldn't be Thoughtseizes in the deck. Uh, not a big fan. Uh, I feel like Obnixilis is probably sideboardable. Um, he's only a 3-3 with Scape Shift. I don't like Cast Down that much. I just don't feel like it's super necessary in this format. Like, especially because you have Dismembers, Abrupt Decays, Gold Garage. You have a ton of removal already. Um... So, we're definitely bringing in four. I can see cutting a dismember. I don't know why, like, I don't know if Vorinclex is really great. Like, if you're in a position to cast eight mana of Vorinclex, you probably don't need the mana. Yeah. Like, I'd almost rather have more... I'd almost rather have another 4-drop to cast. You cast Thought not the same turn you put Gorklaw into play for free? That's actually true. I don't hate that. Yep, that is some thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Also, I feel like Runescar Demon it might be bad just because you're, like, you're spending a turn getting a card when you could just have a better card. You know what I mean? I mean, in those situations, Thought Knots here is a... I'm actually going to... Let's try two Thought Knots here. Oh, we don't have colorless mana, though, is the problem. Yeah. Like, we'd have to we'd have to change the entire mana base to do that, which is not ideal. I'm going to add one Hissing Quagmire. And I also don't think Urborg, two Urborgs is really relevant. I'd rather just have two Hissing Quagmires. Uh, you would still need a colorless, because it would be... It would be... It would, it would reduce the cost by three, and then you still need two colors. We get two creatures here. Hmm. I almost like two more primeval titans. Doesn't seem terrible, especially after adding the hissies. Are there any cards that like get like search your library for creatures or something? There's that green creature that searches for a three drop. I don't know if you want that though. A green creature that searches for a three drop? Yeah, it's like five mana. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um what is that dude called? Green there's a green warden. This guy's okay. It's like a wreck sage on both ends. It's like wood. Is it wood something? This is going to come up with a million cards. 
Wouldn't you know? Woodland Baloth. Yeah. Woodland Bellower. Uh, when enters battlefield, search library for a non-legendary green creature card with card or mask for less, but on the battlefield. That doesn't get anything, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, the worst part about this card was it was in the same set as Nissa Vastwood Seer, and you couldn't actually get a Nissa Vastwood Seer with it. Mm-hmm. So it was like, it was almost like, oh, mana cost three or less? That's perfect. It gets a Nissa, which is the best creature in this. Oh, it doesn't actually get a Nissa. Um, what about Woodfall Primus? I think this is a better 8-drop than Vorinclex for sure. Well, I agree. We get one more card? I almost feel like it should be another... Is there another 4-drop that does a similar thing that ramps you in some way? Like a, a Psalm of Simulacrum Goreclaw card? There's Oracle Moldaya. I don't hate that. That's pretty good. She does become a 1-1, one, one, though. Yeah. Could you get Tireless Tracker with Woodfall? With, uh... Or Jason... Was Jason... Or not Jace, but, uh... Was Tireless Tracker in the same... Was, was Shadows of Renistrad the same set as... And, and Origins legal at the same time? I have no idea. Okay, well, that was good. I don't even know what's legal and standard right now. Skittering Doomcrawler? I don't even know if I had that card. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. There's a lot of skittering cards. Did you just make that up, Mike? Is that a real card? <laughs> skittering Doomcrawler. Oh, that's not actually Mike. That was actually Alan in the middle of two Mike messages. Okay, I have no idea what Skittering Doomcrawler is. I feel like you might have made that up. Uh, when you have time, I'll ask Pedro NTG7 competitive in Kamigawa Ravnica block. We'll be trying in a few days to form a new league draft. Any tips as far as I research hate draft? It's useless. Yeah, don't hate draft because it actually just makes your deck and everyone else's deck worse. Um, hate drafting sucks. I have no idea what kind of advice to give you as far as drafting. Like... Um, this is the old bread formula, boy. <laughs> bread is good. Uh, scuttling Doom Engine. Oh, well, this is worse than Worm Coil Engine, though, right? I mean, that's just the... Uh, it can't be blocked or creature power to a less. When it dies, it deals six. Like, I feel like that's just worse than this guy. But I don't know. The dying, when it dies, gets the end six. But, like, I don't want to clog my hand up with infinite six drops, either. I kind of do want something else for the four drop slot. Uh, yeah, Mindbender would be... Well, Mindbender's cost, his casting cost would be. Um, I don't know if the... Uh, if the Emerge cost. You may cast this spell by... Sac I think so, because they're still casting it, right? And it says they cost less to cast. So the wording is consistent. They both, they both use the word cast. Uh, Nerf Benefit Divinity is indestructible. Remove Divinity Counter. Each opponent discards their hand. That's actually not terrible. One witty banter buck. Was there any witty, ba witty banter taking taking place? Was there any witty banter? I didn't feel witty. Oh, so witty. Uh, I don't like Catacomb Sifter because if you have Heartless summoning, the, uh, the, the, the Scion immediately dies. Yeah. So. That's pretty not good. You're actually just getting a 1-2 with no real... I don't think I have a single Myojin. Wow, I don't. I have no Myojins. This is 8 mana, so it would cost a 6. 8 mana is a lot of mana. And it's a 5-2. It's indestructible as long as it removed any counter from Myojin. I don't... It's not terrible, though, right? All that really matters is making them discard their hand. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't think we want more six drops, though. I think our six drops are completely fine. I think we want cheaper spells. I feel like I've mentioned this. We want cheaper spells that cost... Uh, I don't want Worldbreaker because I don't want to actually have to deal with the uh, colorless mana in the... Uh, is it easy or hard to liquidate extremely expensive cards? Like, uh, it's, it's probably... It's, it's not super easy. You probably don't want to sell them somewhere like eBay. Oh, I like Serac, actually. Oh, giving a creature haste seems pretty good. I like the way his name sounds too, Serac. <laughs> she know about Serac. What do you know about Serac? You don't know right. nothing about Serac. Let's try this. I like this.
All right, let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> That's good stuff. What do you know about Serac? Not much. Gold Muddy 15. Let's see what happens. Double tra doubling charm? What's a doubling charm? Is that a card? I feel like you just made that up. Gristlebrand. That's not terrible, actually. Grizzly Busy? Yeah, the Gristlebrand's got to be just strictly better than Vorinclex, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. The Gitrog Monster. That's where I want to be. Okay. Now we're talking. I wish you guys made these suggestions before this. What is doubling charm? Is that a real thing? What, do you don't know about this card? You play commander. Doubling chant? Is that what you guys are talking about? Because there's no doubling charm. That's not a card. Uh, I like this hand. Oh, wow. I didn't even see the Heartless Summoning, actually. Oh, yeah. This hand's fantastic. Oh my god, I'm sorry on Drum Tuna. I can't see all of the chat at all times. I'm not a wizard. I am a wizard. Yeah, what's your Patronus? An eagle. Good choice. A black eagle. You know, you can officially figure out your Patronus if you if you go to the website. Oh my god, hold on. What's my Patronus.com? No, there's like a, a Wizarding World website where you can... Uh, Discover yeah, your Patronus. Pottermore. God, Pottermore is the best, dude. You can discover your house, you can discover your Patronus, and you can discover your wand. Have you been to Have you been to Pottermore? I have seen Game Grumps do it, and it was a pretty interesting episode. Really? You've never been? Nope. Dude, you live in Florida, man. One wizard buck. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the yeah, I've never I've never been to Universal in general. That's messed up, dude. We need to fix that. Well, I did take some days off. Oh, that's sick. We should totally go. Wizarding World OP. Guys, we're gonna have a stream uh, a stream outing at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Okay, so everyone get your get your tickets and we'll I figure hear, out. What I we hear can the butterbeer is delicious. Oh, the butterbeer is gas. It's it's wonderful. Doubling Charm is definitely a card. I don't think it is. Sub alerts for Twitch Prime is off. They should be on. I, I haven't actually... Uh, I haven't turned off any alerts. It's on air. Either way, thank you so much for the, for the sub. If, if, if a sub took place. What are they discarding young Pyromancer in a Blood Moon, huh? What's going on right now? There's no card called Doubling Charm. I don't know what you guys are like. There's no Doubling Charm card. <laughs> like, I don't know what you guys are looking for. Oh, it's actually ridiculous. What does the card do that you think exists? Tell me that. Please Google it and then you can just post the link. There are no Doubling Charms. This is not a card. So we can actually go land, land. Signet. Well, doubling season doesn't do anything in this deck. Like actual zero. Doubling chant would be the uh, the card you're looking for here. Oh, that was a good draw. All right, now we'd have to. So what we can do is play this guy for two, one, two. It reduces some things by four. Guess I can't do anything else. So what we can do is play Signet into Solemn. Wait, is that it? Is what it? Someone, Admiral, post a link. This is not... Oh my god. No, this is not it. This is like a D&D &D thing or something. 
Is this actually... What is this from? Oh, it's from Book of Spells, Chapter 3. Clearly, everybody knows that. Oh, Alan, why are you the way that you are? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just... Uh, you can't do Baron to Solemn. This guy does not cost four or more. That is not how Magic the Gathering works. Um, or it does not... It doesn't have power four or greater, rather, so... <laughs> so we're just going to play Signet and play Worm Coil, or play Solemn, the way we were... The way God intended. And we're going to get a forest because we don't want to get wrecked on. Also, being a two-color deck, there should definitely be a second swamp in here because if they play a Blood Moon, we actually... Uh, typically, it, it, without a Signet, would have no second black source. And there's a bunch of double black cards in our deck. Double, doubling Charm puts two mana encounters on target Mike. That's probably true. I just want to know what my picture... Wow, you're going to lightning bolt that guy. I get to draw a card. That's a 1-1. One, one. That's just wasted value. Oh, look what we drew. Five, six. We can actually go two mana for this guy, two mana for this guy. Thought sees you. That's pretty good. That's a good turn. Actually, let's Thought sees you first. Making your way in the world today. Coligon's Command and a Blood Moon? I don't care about either of those cards. We're just going to take the Coligon's Command. Wouldn't you like to get away? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy. Marshams. Marsham, Marsham, Marsham. Blooming Marsham. I feel like we're doing well here, guys. Also, look at Thoughtseize. Already doing work killing this Kolingon's Command. They wouldn't be able to get Young Pyromancer and kill our Worm Coil Engine. Alright, we won the game. Wouldn't you like to win the game? Uh, Abrupt Decay is actually just worse than Golgari Charm in this matchup, I think. Yeah. Because this kills Blood Moon and it kills uh, all the Pyromancer and his tokens. So, I feel like this is just straight better. Kill all the Pyromancer and his tokens. And I think Dismember is actually worse than Abrupt Decay here, so we'll just replace those. Uh, kill the Pyromancer. Something, something, Pyromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Do we want Relic here? I don't think so. I don't think I care about Relic. Why would you need the third mode to become to to be Target Sunday becomes Chicken Sunday when all Sundays are automatically Chicken Sundays? That's like Target White Sock becomes White. It just doesn't make any sense. I prefer Fork Doubling Charm. You can split the mannequin counters between any number of target mics. That's actually a good deal. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to get away? You know what song that's from? You know what show that's from? My dad. Nailed it. Can the export Emerald Call the Promised Land? Probably not, just because I don't think we have enough card types that go to the graveyard. But I feel like all you want to do is cast Ember Call the Promised End. Is that fair to say, you think? Um, How much does it cost to get into one Wizarding World? I don't know, actually. This hand's just fine. Oh, do we want a double Heartless Summoning? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but it really makes this Worm Coil easier to cast. That's true. Yeah, I can't. I can't risk that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Well, now I wish we kept it. Boy, that would have been great if we kept it on top. Be like, joke's on you, idiot. <laughs> uh, packages and tickets. Ooh! Man. Oh, this is park to park, though. I really don't care about that. So 150 for a day. 115, you mean? 115, yeah. That ain't terrible. Yeah, we only need one day. One day. One day. God, can you imagine if we had the Heartless Summoning on top instead of the Shouldered? I can only imagine. Oh, yeah, we were all talking about uh, having you do a drunk stream one of these days. So. You should have told me earlier. I would have got wasted. We could do it tomorrow. Well, I have to go to my parents later tomorrow, so. Can't you go today? No. No. Oh. Can't you just show up drunk to their house? I mean, yeah, I guess I could, but that would be weird. 
We could do a later stream tomorrow. After that. We could do that. You don't got to work until 4, so it shouldn't be terrible. If you want to get, it's only if you want to get shifty. I don't want to force you. I don't want to be your friend. That's like, hey man, have another. Just keep drinking, man. Have another drink. <laughs> yeah, have another drink, buddy. <laughs> sure. Well, that's rude. That is a little rude. I guess we'll discard shield, shieldy, shieldy, but a goodie. I feel like I see. Like the the problem with the deck right now that I'm seeing is that if you fall behind. Like, if you don't hit a Golgari Signet or a uh, a Heartless Summoning, you're just way behind. Hello, something. <laughs> All right, it's very weird when it happens this consistently, I guess, but. And we were playing a land. If we hit another land, we're just going to have no cards in hand. Do we just. We have to discard the the, the worm coil, right? Like, Sturak yeah. doesn't do anything for us here, even if we hit. Even if we can cast it. Medge one, thank you so much for saying so. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's sad. So were they lightning bolt us? Okay. So you're just gonna discard your last card? Interesting. Oh, I see. It worked out. How nice. So sad. Wow, this is so sad. Can we get two likes? Can we get two likes for sadness? Let's add red for Sire of Insanity. Good lord. What does that card do? It's like at the end of each turn, your opponent discards their hand. pretty ridiculous oh yeah at the beginning of each end guy. step each each player discards their hand oh that seems worse i'm not interested in that i'll bring back my little lingeries man that Golgari charm would have been great here i guess i just didn't assume they had double young pyromancer and a lingering souls that's my bad well that's pretty rough so we take one two three four five six they get to the ultimate this if they want to yeah that would not not have been that. I don't even know if I like Blue Marsh, but I'm gonna leave it just for now. I do want this other abrupt decay now that I've seen the Liliana. I actually don't think Serac is great because he does become a. I don't like the creatures that, that go down to three toughness. Uh, I think Bloodgift Demon might be an exception because it does draw us cards if it survives. But three toughness is a pretty bad place to be in modern. You're right. I know. So one more change I'm gonna make. Oh, uh, I don't know. You, you like your your colored mana requirements are just not that high, so I think you can actually play way more basics than this, and not even worry about it. I do like Gitrog a lot. Gitrog, you're done. It actually might be better than Blood Gift Demon. I only have one Gitrog monster. It's cooler. Yeah, we're going to add another Get Truck. What was the other card we said? Somebody else said something cool that I liked a lot. It wasn't Catacomb. Oh, I don't think Quad Black would be annoying for Gristlebrand in this deck, though. Like, almost, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20... 20 of our lands produce black mana along with Golgari Signets. Like, I just don't think that's going to be an issue. Yeah. 
You okay over there? Hmm? You just looking a little sad? How dare you? How dare you? God, you ever see those hands where you're like, this would be great if I had one? I'm going to keep it anyway because we got the Solemn Simulacrum. And if there's a Heartless Summoning or a, a Golgari Signet on top. Uh, the old Phyrexian Grapefruit. That's a classic. Don't thoughts easy, bro. He's totally doing it. Never, they never don't have it. I've never actually played a match against a black card that, uh, against a black deck that didn't actually have Thoughtseize or Inquisition on turn one. I have four in the deck, but um, I have yet to have one single game where I have one in my opening hand. So we'll see. We'll see if that. Kimmy Son, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, tier two sub. My God, what a time to be alive. Just take the Solemn. You're not going to take the 6 or 7 drop. Why are you being like this? I just want to find my Patronus. I'm going to find my Patronus while we're doing this. How do I do it? You got to sign up for the website. Begin. No, I don't. I just hit the begin button. Nerd. Do you think she older it? I'm going to get a basic land here, because they're going to Blood Moon us, and it's going to be miserable. Oh, wait, this is the whole thing. I can't. Yeah, you have to pay attention to it, or it'll make you restart. Wow. That's intense. Would QMP be good in this deck? Uh, is QMP green and black? I know he's the king of the Rumba beat. You think they didn't take Solemn because they didn't recognize it? They're like, I don't know what that card does. His name is Cuban Pete. He is the king of the rumba beat. God, I hate you pernicious dude so much. Jeff, you're the worst dude. I don't know anything about this song. Chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. You know about the chicky booms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Double queuing? No. I mean, I'm playing one... I have one match, right? Yeah, joke's on you, buddy. There's no creatures in my hand that cost that. <laughs> sweet, sweet peak that doesn't actually let you draw a card. Man, you're going to regret this. You're going to regret it, this spaghetti. You're going to like the way you regret it. I guarantee. And I want some sunnies. I want some barbecue. Is it, uh... Is it Barbecue Tuesday? It might be. When your opponent does nothing on turn three, it might not be the time for that. That is correct. I feel like I, if I had any plays with three mana available, I probably would have made them. They might have just wanted to make a token, but... Are you okay? I have no idea what he's doing. I'm gonna get you a horse... I'm gonna get you an eagle head mask, and you're gonna wear it on the stream. An eagle head mask. Oh boy, I can't wait. Really? Oh my god. How many is he gonna have? Jesus. Well, that one's more annoying. Cool. I give you a Z, a Z, a Z lira for a multi bay. <laughs> That's, oh, another one. Hooray. I'm having a good time. For a little multi and a spaghetti prego. 
Yeah, I'll take the eight drop. Like, like the sauce, Prego. Yeah, and ragu. Wonderful. Did they discard a third thought sees? No, I guess they played the third thought. I have no idea what's going on right now. I just really want to. Yep, that little turn too late there, Chief. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to three, and then they just lightning bolt us. Is that how it's going to go? Literally the first spell we cast this game because they were able to make us discard four cards. Seems good. Thought sees again. I'll call the gods command you. Sure. Old blood boon, eh? Yep. Cool. All right, we're having a good time. Okay, so, God, if, if Gitra Monster is more than a dollar, I'm going to be real mad. So are we 03 right now? Yes. Yeah, that's not good. I'm not thrilled about that. All right. I mean, get I mean, uh, my second one would be good in that situation, but not really in many others. Twenty-seven cents. All right, I'm in. I mean, there's very few decks that Massacre Worm is really a blowout against in Modern, so I don't think we're really going to be adding Massacre Worms to the deck. I think there are just way more effective six drops. All right. Uh, I don't actually think I care about Dismember. I don't think Modern's in a place where you really need Dismembers. I think I'd rather just have um, another Abrupt Decay here. I also didn't like the Ciroc. I think that guy's kind of doo-doo. He didn't even get his chance to shine. Yeah, because he sucks. Wow. What do we play? First round we played against Crackling Ironworks, then we played against Scape Shift, and then we played against Pyromancer. We've played against plenty against that wasn't stupid Pyromancers, but um, I'm going to add another Swamp. Like I said, like you just don't have a reason to not have more basic lands. Like a Blooming Marsh on turn one uh, is just not that much better than a Swamp. I mean, we have Thought Seasons, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 lands that like I'm going to play untapped on turn one. Uh, I don't think surgical is super necessary. Like, there's just no reason in a two-color deck, there's no reason we should be getting blown out by, by Blood Moon. We have one, one slot here. Do you just want another two-color ramp spell? Like a Farseek or something? Sounds alright. Is there a creature that ramps you? Also, I, don't, I think Signet just might be worse than like a Farseek, right? I mean, you want more lands for Gitrog Monster, and like this can be killed where a Farseek can't be killed. True. Like, they're both ramping you. The problem with Wood Elves is that it just dies. Tri Builder also just dies. Like, you can't. You literally can't cast the Tri Builder after you have Heartless Summoning out, is the problem. Oh, actually. That's a good idea, Mike. I like that. Um, What is that dude called? Oh, shaman? the shaman guy? Yeah. Shaman of the Forgotten Ways, I believe. Yeah, sounds about right. Make me feel forgotten, wet. 
like that. Mm-hmm. This is probably just less efficient than just searching for forgotten. Uh, this guy. Add two mana any combination of any colors. Spend this mana only cast creatures. That guy seems good, actually. Hmm. To just die, though? That's my big concern. My concern is just these creatures dying. Druid of the Cal seems pretty rough. Like, I just would... There, there's no way I'd put a creature in the deck over a... Over an artifact in modern. I think we really just want Rampant Growth or... Far seek, probably far seek because it hits swamps and uh, overgrown tombs. Yeah, I think this is just better than a signet. I'll just play one signet. That's what I was thinking, but I'd rather just play one rampant growth, maybe. Sure. Because I'd rather just maximize on these. Uh, there's no green black talisman because that does not exist. And also, talisman is just worse than signet. Like. It, you're probably going to want the colors more than not. This is a very color-intensive deck. Maybe we just add the Blood Gift Demon. Maybe we just add another Gitrog Monster. The problem is we want to go from 2 to 4. Or, with Heartless Summoning, 2 to 5. I think we just want a Rampant Growth here. Is there another 2-mana spell that, like, searches for lands? Nope, that ain't it. Uh, this one. So, let's search land. Uh, come right back, that equals two. There are 43 cards that do that. Let me just narrow the colors down a bit. Well, they're not going to show up in too many colors. They're, these are probably mostly going to be green. I guess we can do just green and black. Probably just green, because I don't see black doing anything. Um... Each player, uh, each player may discard a card. That's stupid. That's also not. I guess we'll just do modern too, because there's going to be weird cards that are not legal in modern. So eighteen cards. Edge of Autumn. It seems fine. Into the north. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Actually, Viridian Emissary might be good, because you could just play him with a Heartless Summoning and he dies, but I think we just want Rampant Growth. I hate, feel weird playing five, like, Rampant Growth. I just want to see if there's anything cooler. Tempest or Mirage? Hmm. They're both disgusting. What? This little elk? What's wrong with What's disgusting about this? Just don't like the art. Wow. Judgmental Mike over here. Alright, let's try this. I like these updates. We also want more lands in... We want more, we want more actual lands in play for the Gitrog monster, so... Galta and Heartless Summoning are a bit of a nombo? How so? I mean, sure. But, like, not really, though, right? Like, if I have two creatures out, I'm paying two less for Galta. And if I have two creatures out, it's already give, it's giving me two less. So it's not really a nonbo, it just kind of cancels itself out. But in the same in the same veil, it's letting me get those creatures out earlier anyway. So, I mean, I'm... It's still helping in general, like in a in a in a broader sense. It's helping you cast Galta earlier. Yeah, this hand seems great. We don't have enough lands for Azusa. Like, it just doesn't make sense to play uh, Azusa in a twenty three land deck. And Tireless Tracker, same thing. Like, it just we don't need we don't need help drawing cards and having bigger things. Like, we have enough big things in the deck. We don't need more cards. We just need ways to get lands into play quickly. Like, I think the Azusa deck and this deck are two totally different decks. Like, they're do doing totally different things. Like, Azusa wants you to play, like, three lands a turn. And, like, we have two lands right now. Like, we're not trying to maximize the number of land drops we have. I 
I mean, wouldn't Nature's Lore... Isn't that strictly worse than a Rampant Growth? Rampant Growth gets any... I guess Nature's Lore gets Overgrown Tomb, but I just don't... I, I think the difference is pretty marginal. Oh, is it just that instead? Probably, right? Yeah, because we don't have a third land, so this guarantees we can cast Psalm Simulacrum if they don't have anything. What the hell is Evolution Charm? Is that even a thing? Yeah, but that just goes into your hand. That doesn't seem great. We're trying to ramp, to, not not just find lands. I'm not. We're trying to ramp to lands, not tutor lands. Oh, nature's lore enters untapped. Is that even legal in standard or in modern? Wasn't that in like a starter set? Yeah, I don't think that card's even legal in modern. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not a modern legal card. No, I'm not asking if I'm not asking if Evolution Charm is legal. That card's not good. Like, that just puts the land in your hand. That doesn't actually ramp you. Like, I don't need to put lands in my hand. I want to actually put them on the board so I can play Solemn Simulacrum on turn three. Wow. I hope we hit a land here. This could be great. Oh, dang it. What? Yeah, use all the abilities. So, if we hit a land, we can play a six drop. If we don't hit a land, we can play double, double ramp spell, which is pretty nice. Oh, interesting. I think it's just Worm Coil here. You doing okay? Hmm? Okay. It's good having you around, man. Sometimes I'm like, is there another person in the room with me? I don't know. No. They got Path one? That'd be funny if they terminate it and then Path one of the tokens. That would be not good. I mean, good for us, but, you know. You know. No, I don't. I have no idea what you're saying right now. I think you might have blacked out halfway through your conversation. Wow, double terminate on two of Worm Coil Engine. Hey, man, I didn't know you had to pull you out. Yeah, I installed this a while ago. Hmm. Bought that on the internet. A pull you out. <laughs> hey, buddy, nice pull you out. What does that even mean? All right, well, we're not going to play a Noxious Gear Hulk yet. The Hidden Kool-Aid, it seems. Farseek... Get ems all the landems. Time to turn your water into Jolly Rancher candy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to add some Kool-Aid watermelon here. It's a solid. Boop. Boop. Oh, the Scorpion God? This is exciting. I don't know what's happening right now, but that's exciting. Who is the man in the background? That's that's my friend Mike. Who's the man in the background? <laughs> wow, that was very uh. What's, did it, his, did what's it, did it, what was his name? Oh, I can't think of his name. Mike Ruba. It's not Fra Frank Fontaine, is it? Who is the man in the background? It's from Bioshock. You don't. You're not getting. I know this. you're talking about. Would you? Yeah. Would you kindly? I understand. I was up and up in 2000 and... I have no idea what the words you just said were. Or whatever. Whenever Bioshock 1 came out. That was a good game. It was a really good game. Yeah, but I'm not sure if Frank Fontaine was the one who actually said it or if that was just a different character in the story. Spilled a little juice. It's hard to drink out of this thing. Really? Yeah, it's hard to drink out of everything. Oh, I like this Inquisition. You'll hit nothing. Here's my scorpion god again. Big scorps magorps. I'm going to keep killing it. Give me a shoulder. That's an herborg. That's not close to a shoulder. <laughs> 
More like Bioshart. Wow. That doesn't even make any sense. Do you enjoy did you enjoy not making sense? Is that enjoyable to you? Oh, Edward S., thank you so much. I'm not sure if you are watching currently, but thank you for the Patreon support. Really appreciate it. Dang it. You okay? I was making myself half a man. You're already half a man. Half a man I used to be. This, this Scarab God has been cast quite a few times. These guys have Menace, too. That's pretty yeah. cool. So you basically just go to one here. Shouldered. I'm waiting for the Shouldered. I'll also take a Gitrog Monster. All right, whatever. I'll go to 33. Yeah, all right, put that in the trash can. He tried to block. <laughs> that is not how Menace works, my friend. Try it again. No, oh, dang. Try again. Try, try again. Our opponent's looking pretty dead. I'm not feeling good about it. Or they shouldn't be anyway. You gotta find two answers to these patooties. He's gotta find answers to all our creatures, pretty much. Try again. Try, try. Yeah, that's true. Because if they, even if you kill these guys, this guy's still... I guess you could block that guy at that point. But now you're just tapped out, so I have no idea what your what your plan is here. To die. Are your plan is to die. <laughs> He's broken. I was just laughing, man. Just having a little, uh, just having a little chuckle. Little, uh, just having little chucks. Little chucks. Little, ch just having some little chucks. You know what I mean? I don't. Do you know what I'm saying right now? Tell me more about your little chucks. I'll never tell you about chuck little chucks. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to multiply. <laughs> we have a good time. Michael never has a good time, but the rest of us are fine. I have a good time sometime. The stream makes me lose my shit at work and I don't appreciate What does that even mean? Tell me more, Neon Tokyo Rain. Tokyo Rain, Tokyo Rain. <laughs> Never meant to make you watch any anime. Neon Rain, Neon Rain. That's a Prince song. Do you guys know? You guys know Neon Rain by Prince? I'm dumb. Is it is is dumb or smart to play two Vivian, one Tezzeret, and one Nicobolus in the same seal deck? Uh smart if you've opened two Vivian, a Tezzeret, and a Nicobolus in the same seal deck. I have no idea why you would ever not play all three of those. It's to die. <laughs> That's amazing. He's broken. And it's to die. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that looked so ridiculous. I'm glad to. I'm glad to see it. Oh, this is this hand is gas. Are you ready? You ready to get steamrolled? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Here to we go. On Every game. Oh. Every game never yeah. fails. Well, we have two. I wanted both of them. Do you understand? Wow. Can't have it all. Only want to see you curve out in the magic game. Neon rain. This is good. Oh, that's a good one. It's okay. Got him. I did got him. If you open four Planeswalkers in your friggin' sealed deck, just get out of here. Slam them all and don't even well, ask. Walladil. Is that how you say his name? How do you say it? Walladil. How, how, how else could you say it? Walladil. Yeah, that's it. It's Walladil, actually. Someone told me that Freddie Prince Jr. is Prince's son. Either that person is real stupid, or they think you're real stupid. You should figure out which it is. If you don't know, then I have bad news for you. I think either one is not preferable to your friendship. 
This is actually pretty good because we can play Gitrog Monster next turn if we hit a land, and we might be able to. I'm, I'm tempted to, to relic here in order to make sure that happens. But uh, play a little Gitrog Monster, get it in. This is this is one of my favorite cards ever. I think. I think it's one of my uns, my, uh, what's it like? Like, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah, think, we should make a commander deck for it. Uh, my biggest reservation about doing that is that it'll only be two colors. I feel like I want to play more than two colors in commander. Does that make sense? Sure. I thought about making a Gitrog Monster Commander deck because he's kind of broken. Is he? Yeah. In Commander? Yeah. Mike is my Commander, uh, go my guru. I'll, I'll go to him for all the Commander questions I have. It's really easy to make like a broken combo deck with him and draw your whole deck. Ooh, Muldrotha with Gitrog. That seems good. Muldrotha's real good. That's like, that card was like made for you, man. Let me tell you something, man. Why didn't they cast Lingering Souls? the world and they never know I really want to hit a land here so I'm actually going to sack this oh that's that's good mm. land one time <laughs> if we don't hit a land we can't <sighs> do anything just I need a land just give me a land give daddy a land thanks for the advice bits oh <sighs> double heartless summoning do we just do we just slam both think so all right we're gonna do it don't say you're not gonna do it frogler i'm really happy you have a gitrog deck <laughs> yeah <laughs> makes sense oh frogler sees gitrog monster print and he's like yes yes also it's a frog how cool is that neg two neg two is a little rough but we still have a sick a four four a four four a ten ten and a four four so i think we'll manage Let's look at the art. He's literally eating a man. He's literally eating a man. We can also play two things next turn. Two six drops. Because they're actually two drops. The frog that eats like a man. No. Um, doesn't eat like a man. Your mother eats like a man. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, man. Why was that as funny as it was? I'm going to play this guy. I will search for some Landos. La some Lando Calrissians. And then we're going to play this fat daddy. Oh yeah, be the fat daddy you've always you've always meant to be. That's not Hat Mike and you know it, DCM Dame. Come on. Hat Mike is greatly missed. Rip Hat Mike. Tell Hat Mike we miss him. Tell regular Mike and Frank Mike miss Hat Mike. Yeah, that guy's just not doing it for me. Well, we got to sacrifice a land. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many lands we draw when we sacrifice a land? A lot. Okay. Give me that. Give me that card. Give me that other card. Give me fetch land. Fetch land. Fetch land. Eh, that's actually just fine. Shatterstorm. Have fun with that. Extirpate. Young Peasy. I guess take Young Peasy? I guess. I could care less about Extirpate, to be quite honest. Can you play Galta this turn? Oh, yeah, we can play Galta this turn. What up, Big Worm? Unfortunately, we can't get by you, but... I think we actually just pass here. Their hand is not great, so. He should have Death Touch and Trample. So that way you can you can ping their guys and then still trample over for five. Wow. Does that guy need any more text? You're going to put a counter on Galta? Interesting. All right, I'm going to sack uh, Bloomin' Marsh. Okay, that's not what we wanted to see. Fetch land, fetch land, fetch land. Is it fetch land? Fetch land. Extirpate my thought seize. All right. Well, you could have done this in my upkeep or my draw step so that, you, you know, if I hit one, you could have got it from my hand. But that is just fine. So now your last card is Shatterstorm, other, other, otherwise known as... Blank Storm. 
I guess it kills Worm Coil and then, you know, nothing else. Six, seven, eight, nine. They can actually triple block here. That's sad. Aggressive Mammoth? What does that do? Is that a real card? Other creatures you control have... Tri oh, wow. 8-8 eight, eight for 6? That is an aggressive mammoth. Oh, this is one of the... This is one of the rares that isn't actually in the set, right? This is one of the... The, like, the secret rares that are in, like, the Planeswalker decks or whatever. Oh, that was a good draw. The old two-mana Noxious Gearhulk. A classic. Get rid of you. And then we're coming in. We're coming in hot right now, boys. I just did. I chose this one. That was a good draw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're using it. Yeah, you can go back to the hand when you're done. I don't even care about all that jazz. That is not the not the point at all. Boop, 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 boop. Fatty's incoming. That doesn't seem politically correct. So? <laughs> so? Hey, you didn't get your hissies. No, I got verdants because I can crack them and draw extra cards. Oh, okay. That's fair. Your hissies. Don't talk about my hissies. That guy's got Trample. Your last card is Shatterstone. Why would you double block that guy? What's even happening right now? I'm very confused. Don't do that. Why are you blocking the Trampler? Neither of these have Trample. What? These are literally the two creatures that do have Trample. Are you just dead? <laughs> they just killed themselves? Is this like suicide by trample? I think this is twenty if he blocks this way. I have is it eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. It's nineteen. Why would you do this? Alright, well we had a good run. Alright, what didn't I like? Do you want more fetches? Probably not, right? Nah. I like fetches with Gitrog Monster. You're focusing too much on the Gitrog monster, I think. I think I'm not focusing enough on the Gitrog monster. <laughs> I might want one more Shieldred. How do you feel about the second Shieldred? I don't think it's necessary. Mm. What about Aggressive Mammoth? No. <laughs> I'd rather have another Woodfall I promise. mean, I like the card, but... He's certainly aggressive. I kind of like one more Primeval Titan over one of the rampant growths. A little counterintuitive, but I like it. <laughs> Let's take out the card that ramps us to a six drop and add another six drop. What could go wrong? I like to live dangerously. Blood Gift Demon, it's been a while. You're right. It's been a while since I got here. Go on. Oh, my heat up high. Was that stained? I think so. Wow, that's a... Did you know the lead singer from Static X died? No. What happened? Uh, I think it was a drug overdose. That is a pretty common way for yeah. musicians to go. You're right. Oh, this is the same opponent. I don't know if I want to play the same guy. I support on Patreon because I like your content and singing. Also, I caught your live stream where you got sniped, heard the Frank's thoughts about it, and liked how you didn't quite equate the sniper's comments about your complicity and the cheating to your choice to wear a short skirt. Yeah, well. Wait, you liked how I didn't quite equate that? I mean, like, I felt like it was I felt like it was in that same vein. He died years ago, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I had no idea. His wife died shortly after? Wow, that's super sad. What a tragic combination. Jeez. Alright, so we're going to hop in this queue as soon as someone else. Well, back to work. Mike, you can't watch the stream while you're working? Unbelievable. I feel like sniping is cheating. I do. I, I, do, I do feel like it's cheating. 
Uh, I think you understand that that the, that the spirit of the game is such that you should not be looking at your opponent's hand. You should not have that information. The game is presented in such a way that you are not meant to have that information, which is why we have cards that give you that information. Um, you know this going into a game. You also know that when a person is streaming, it is not meant for you specifically. It is meant for an audience. It just happens to be there. Uh, it's It's tangentially being shown to you. Not necessarily direct. It's not directly being shown to you. It's not meant for you. Uh, and if you can't accept those two things and circumvent that and go around and still say I'm going to look anyway, um, I feel like you're. Eh, it's not great. But anyway, I don't want to get into that right now. So. Yeah, his wife said she couldn't live without him. It is weird that like people who are like really in love, like if one of them dies, like it's like it seems like it's super common for the other. People it actually is. I mean, after. usually that happens to older people as well. Yeah, older people. Yeah, especially. Yeah, just, I mean, like, because, and it, but it's, it, I think the only reason it's not quote-unquote cheating is because the magic rules haven't been rewritten to take in, take streaming into account, right? It, it's, it's not a matter of it's not cheating because it's not a cheating, it's not, it's not, it doesn't fit into the mold of cheating. It's an issue that it's not cheating because it, it's hard to enforce. Yeah, even though Twitch considers this cheating, like, it's hard to enforce still. Right, and even in the Twitch community guidelines, it says this is one of the things we are against, so... Okay, we get it. You wrote the Batman Beyond theme song. This is actually pretty good because we can play this guy on three. Oh, we can actually play this guy, can't we? This guy's going to cost two, and then this guy would cost... No, it's double black. Dang it. The double black ruins it all. But you got a swamp and a burning catacombs. Right, but we're going to have to use two mana to cast this guy. Oh, We'd have one land ups over, so we can't actually fulfill the double black claws. Wow, that's messed up. I never said it wasn't an amazing theme song. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, they took our four drop. What a surprise. I'm surprised. Did you know I was surprised? Surprise, surprise. They're good theme songs, Mike. Man, they killed our Carlos summoning too? Mm-hmm. Jeez. They have had answers for everything. Mike, are you wasted yet? <laughs> See, we were talking about this the other day. Do I wait a turn in Thoughtseize? Thoughtseize would have been great last turn, but... I mean, I guess I could still get wasted right now. Do we have alcohol in the house? Yeah. Do we? Mm -hmm. There's some tequila. I mean, you'll have to deal with drunk Mike for the rest of the day, but you know. Would I really be having to deal with it, or would I be having to really enjoy that that experience? I don't know whether the thoughts he's here or just play Blood Gift Demon. I feel like if we play Demon, they're just going to terminate it. I think the problem is I don't have anything to mix it with. Just drink it straight. No way. That's disgusting. Maelstrom Pulse, Maelstrom Pulse, Kolagon's Command, Fatal Push. All right. Well. <sighs> this is pretty bad for us. Is a house really a home without some booze? I think so, yeah. I, I don't know if that's, you know, super, uh... Oh, that's a good one. Let's play that guy instead. I'm never meant to cause you any trouble. So they can go Colagon's Command, kill it, Maelstrom Pulse, kill the worms. That's Mike, you good. can all use some Coca-Cola with it. I don't have any Coca-Cola. It's pronounced Coca-Cola. I don't have any Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola? And all you have is the little ones, which don't really work. 
How do they not work? It's like 16 ounces. How much? How big of a drink are you making, man? What are you willing to sacrifice? 16 ounces, probably. Okay. That should be more than enough, dude. Yep. Discard bloody. Tequila and Coke is fine. Everyone, everyone's such a snob about alcohol mixies. Now you just maelstrom pulse on these guys, and then you eat this guy so that our shoulder doesn't do as much. Oh, you fatal pushed it instead? Oh, that's great. Colgon's command, fatal push is gone. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. Wow, that was surprising. I don't think the animal maelstrom pulse kills both of these. All right, well, I'm going to go get a drink. All right, I'll see you later. Peace out. We can't actually attack here because then they just kill us with these guys, so we're going to keep this guy back. Bloodbraid Elf into Lightning Bolt. I'm gonna get oh, Tarmogoyf. That's a good. That's a good dude. Well, that's unfortunate because they still have. That's a dude, isn't it? Oh, that's a dude, isn't it? So I think we're just dead here. Like they sack this guy probably. This guy's way bigger, and they just maelstrom pulse our guy. Yeah, that's that's gonna be game. So what happens? You draw all the removal, unfortunately. Um, Rupt decay definitely comes in. Tink out the Galta. Maelstrom Pulse also seems pretty fine here. I would like to play first. <sighs> this hand's pretty brutal. We're going to mulligan it. This hand is better. We're going to keep it. Feed seems reasonable. You want to just gain 10 life randomly against the, the Jun deck? Interesting. Keep. I'm going to bottom that because I don't see a point to playing it. Uh, like, we're just going to play Quagmire into Heartless Summoning, and uh, there's no real time to play a Thought Seize. I mean, they're just going to. No, they didn't. They didn't take our. Let's get a basic land. No abrupt decay. Oh, it's a card on the board. Not really. I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's it's a reasonable. I mean, it's game ten. Alright, that's totally fine. And fourth time. Is there a ruffle in the screen? Yeah, it's yeah, there is because it's uh because Mike's chair is hitting into the green screen. You guys will be okay. It'll it'll be done in a second when he gets back.
player discards a card? Okay. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. 5-5 five, five Worm Coil Engine. <sighs> sure. Well, I guess we're discarding our whole hand now. Tarmogoyf becomes a... I mean, I guess we're just playing off the top of our deck now. Hey man, you want to guess where the cat is? Uh, on top of the cabinets. Yes. Uh -huh. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's, a, he's an impressive dude. How does he get up there? He crawls. He's a cat. He climbs. <laughs> he crawls? He crawls and climbs. Crawls and climbs. Two. What do you got there? So, how much for the camera? Uh, this much tequila. Wow. And this much Dr. Pepper. That is real strong. Doesn't taste particularly great. Game looks like a doozy. Yeah, Liliana on six is a real thing. I guess we'll just uh, pass the turn, though. Yeah, you could suicide your guys in Liliana, but. I love tequila, but holy crap, that is much. To get this man is my hero, good lord. Rip Mike, you are my favorite Mike. He's gonna be <laughs> Oh god. Why Dr. Pepper? Because it's the only like the only other thing is either Mountain Dew. Yeah, or Mountain Dew. So what with Dr. Pepper. Oh, uh choose a pile to sacrifice. How dare you? Dr. Pepper's delicious. Yeah, I'll keep these. The only problem is the ratio's off. Wait, what happens if Mike becomes he drunk? He top deck to terminate. Jesus Christ. Oh, amazing. Congratulations. Wow. Just fantastic. Mr. Pib is better than Dr. Pepper. I'll agree with that. Is it really? I think so. It tastes pretty similar, though. Get you, get your lips wet, because it's time to have Pep Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Disc Golfer, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Get you, get your lips wet. Really? Hell, it's amazing. Yeah, this is a sweet looking combo deck you got here. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Wow, are you drunk already? No. You should be. The body hasn't processed the alcohol yet, Frank. <sighs> These matches have been a mess. 
Yeah, I'm gonna come out and say it. I don't think this deck's very good. I don't think it's. I don't think it's got what it takes. Unfortunately, I like it a lot. I think it's cool. Yeah, I like the idea. But I think the problem is like, you really want Heartless Summoning, and there's only four of them. You know, like you're really relying on it. Yep. So they have five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can literally just tag us for nine next turn. It's a two-turn clock, and we have no way to deal with this, even if we draw land. Yep, so we just lose to Scavenging Ooze. Cool. Um, I feel like if they didn't top deck a Terminate there, we actually could have been in the game, and we would have been able to start drawing cards with Blood Gift Demon, but, uh, you know, sometimes you always have it. Either way, uh, I think this deck is... I think it's fun. I think it's sweet to play. Um, we were doing cool things with it. I just don't know... The things you're doing are not super oppressive is the only problem I'm having. Is um, It's a little too fair. It's too fair, I think. Right. Like, even if you get a Primeval Titan, um, you're not Primeval Titaning into a Valica. You're not Primeval Titaning into, like, winning the game. You know? So, like, you're you're able to cheat these big creatures into play, but um, it doesn't really... The, the end result is not as much as you as it could be in Modern. And you're trying to do fair things against all these unfair decks. Like, I feel like this deck would be really good in Standard. Oh, this deck would be great now. in Standard. Can we play this in Standard? What are the sets in Standard right now? You got M19. Mm -hmm. And then all the Ammon Cat stuff? All the Ammon Cats. Is that it? No, that's not it. M9 you think M19, Ammon Cat, and Hour of Devastation are the three sets in Standard? You think there's three sets in Standard? Oh, and, um, and, uh, what, the, 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 and Kaladesh. Kaladesh. And yeah. Aether Revolt. And Ixalan. And Rivals of Ixalan. And Dominaria. There are eight sets in standard right Oof. now. You named three of them. What do you got in standard? You got Almonket and M19? Yeah, it's two sets. It's two sets standard right now. So nothing rotate when it came in? No, nothing rotated. Okay. Uh, Almonket and Kaladesh blocks rotate uh, when Ravnica comes in. Okay. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to send this uh, this this uh, deck list. The, the updated version will be in the description so you guys can check that out along with the my Patreon page and my Twitch link if you guys want to check those out as well. Feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you guys want to have a deck critiqued of your own, you can check out my Twitch profile. There's information on how to do that. And I'll see you guys next time.